So let's, let's begin with that. So here we go with the geometric interpretation of uh, derivatives. And what we're going to do is just ask the geometric problem of finding the tangent line. to some graph of some function at some point, which is, say, x0, y0. So that's the problem that we're addressing here. I um, guess I should probably turn this off. All right. So here's our problem. And now let me show you the solution. So. Well, let's graph the function. So let's say here's its graph, and here's some point. All right. Maybe I should draw it just a bit lower so that I don't. All right. So here's a point P. Maybe it's above the point x0. x0, by the way, this was supposed to be an x0. That was the some fixed place on the x-axis. And now, in order to perform this, this mighty feat, I will um, use another color of chalk. How about red? OK. So, so here it is. There's the tangent line. Well, not quite straight. Close enough. All right? I did it. All right? That's the end. That's the geometric problem. I achieved what I wanted to do. And uh, it's kind of an interesting question, which unfortunately I can't solve for you in this class, which is how did I do that? That is, how physically did I manage to know what to do to draw this tangent line? But that's what geometric problems are like. Um, we visualize it. We can figure it out. Somewhere in our brains it happens. And the task that we have now is to figure out how to do it analytically to do it in a way that uh, a machine could do just as well as I did in drawing this tangent line. So, so what did we learn in high school about what a tangent line is? Well, a tangent line has an equation. Uh, any line through a point has the equation y minus y0 is equal to m, the slope, times x minus x0. So, so here's the, the equation for that line. And now there are two pieces of information that we're going to need to work out uh, what the line is. The first one is the point. That's that point P there. And to specify P, given, given x, we need to know the, uh, the, the, the level of y, which is, of course, just f of x0. Now, that's, that's not a calculus problem, but anyway, that's a very important part of the process. So that's the first thing we need to know. And the second thing we need to know is the slope. And that's this number m. And in calculus, we have another name for it. We call it f prime of x0, namely the derivative of f. So that's the calculus part. That's the tricky part. And that's the part that we have to discuss now. So just to make that uh, uh, explicit here, I'm going to make a definition, which is that f prime of x0, which is known as the derivative of f at x0, right, is the slope of the tangent line to y equals f of x at the point, uh, uh, let's just call it p. All 